this is one of the first cases where which law should apply on the internet has been crystallized to its edge. So it's on the tangent of security issues uh, as well as uh, legal jurisdiction and also privacy. The three key elements of the internet debate today and it all will also determine how other countries than the United States will respond to similar needs to have access to information in the future. What rules apply when one country demands uh, that a service provider with a physical presence on its territory give, access, uh, give its authorities access to communication stored in another country? With the way technology and communications companies offer services globally now, and we as customers and consumers, we transact and communicate internationally, we'll, we'll see more and more cases where more than one government uh, will be able to claim legitimate access uh, uh, to the same piece of data. And we can't offset privacy with security. We can't have one and not the other. The two really have to go together and they must go together. So there's no reason either why we can't have a reliable uh, secure, uh, functional internet, which also ensures sufficient privacy and, and uh, human rights. Clearly governments need to counter serious national security threats and they need the capability to conduct effect effective uh, uh, criminal investigations, that, that's, that's for certain. At the same time, people have the right to privacy and we have to have some, some certainty and transparency as to who gets access to what kinds of data uh, and under what circumstances. Should that decision be made by individual firms or should that ultimately be done by governments where on the territory the data sits? If we see that one country is going to go ahead and try to apply extra ter extraterritorial uh, provisions to taking access to information, we may find that all sorts of other nations are doing the same thing. And this will eventually lead to a complete breakdown of the international system and the way in which the internet has worked up to date. Let's start to expedite these legal requests for assistance as fast as possible, but also let's make sure that we have an uh, adequate system in place to make sure that we have rule of law, transparency and right to appeal amongst, of course, democratic and uh, rule of law governed countries. And thirdly, if you have these two systems in place, you won't need need for data protectionism, i.e. data localization or data retention rules. Because if you, if you start trusting each other, you actually don't have to raise these safeguarding walls against each other as well. So this is how you can basically turn this spiral towards the other direction and create a positive and let's say a grand bargaining on all three issues.